Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the some points regarding the remedies of CME. In that, we completed the four points. In the next point is the effect can be nullified by using the compensating winding since this winding is connected in series in opposition with the since it is in opposition with the opposition with the R major so it is in opposite with the R major and since when the load changes the armature flux changes then compensating winding also changes okay which is exactly equivalent and opposite thereby the effect of cross magnetizing effect can be reduced so we can tell that one thing here that is the effect can be nullified using the so which is the armature reaction effect that is nullified by the compensating winding so our compensating wind nullify this effect why because we are connected in series opposition with that we are connected series opposition so the compensating winding is connected series with armature current and opposition opposition of the flux opposition of the flux then what happen the flux due to the armature and flux due to the compensating winding both are cancelled yes which is exactly opposite and equal CME can be reduced so due to that effect the cross magnetizing effect can be reduced here okay next the effect of cross magnetizing effect under interpolar region and polar region can be effectively nullified by using the interpoles so cross magnetizing effect is generally used for the load changes generally it is applicable for the load changes this is the main reason for cross magnetizing effect but here the effect of cross magnetizing we have two things one is interpolar region and the polar region we have two things are available that can be effectively nullified by using the interpoles we are using the interpoles so this is also useful for the nullifying the cross magnetizing effect where is the place of the interpoles generally the interpoles are always placed along the quadrature axis always along the quadrature axis so to understand this just take example this is the north pole and the south pole so before that just look at there so we are not we are giving there here here we will keep this is the interpoles so this is complete the yoke is complete the yoke for our understanding this is also complete the yoke for our understanding yeah this thing which is just observe here these are the interpoles generally so here the interpoles are this is the interpole this part is the interpole this is also the interpole part just observe here this part generally these interpoles are like this this is the north pole and this is the south pole we should connect like this and these interpoles these interpoles are very effectively neutralize the effect very effectively it will be neutralizes okay very effectively it, it it will be nullify the polar region and the interpolar region the both the regions we should have some cross magnetizing effect that can be reduced here okay so once again so if you have some idea then it will be very easy so how it is easy just look at here just i will take so where is the compositive winding compositive winding always in this region but north pole we have dotted region in the south pole we have the cross so we have the cross here right and here 
generally we have the armature winding this armature winding is connected like this and and this is the ending part is connected like this and this is naturally connected and this will be connected to the after that it will be connected to the our armature terminals our armature terminals then after that we will get like this okay this is the position okay and we can give you some thing that is if you take the a b c no no need this region generally magnetization region this region is generally a magnetization region we can name it as magnetization region and between these two regions the region is demagnetization region demagnetization region so we can divide as the two regions is there okay so this is the placement of the polar region and this is the placements of the compensating winding already you have you have some idea about the compensating winding here these two points are related to the interpoles okay next here the next thing is just observe here the next thing is the interpoles are always placed along the interpolar axis just look at here this is the polar axis generally this is the polar axis this axis interpoles are connected across here this axis is known as the interpolar axis interpolar axis okay yeah that is quadrature axis you you know that so this is the direct axis and this is the another name is exact opposite we can name it as the quadrature axis we can name it as the quadrature axis right here quadrature axis yeah its field winding is connected in series with the armature circuit just look at here generally we have some field winding its field winding means which field winding this is interpolar field winding don't forget this is the interpolar field winding this is this is for normal field winding we can name it as the f and ff but this is this is for the interpolar field winding is connected in series with the armature circuit just observe here this is connected with the armature circuit it nullify the cross flux along the quadrature axis so generally so generally this work is in this region we have cross magnetization flux cross magnetization flux okay along the quadrature axis so that effect of cme will be neutralized so by doing this work the cme will be completely the neutralized okay yeah this is also one of the important part so just observe here so in the construction itself the motor or generator armature have two things one is interpolar winding connected with that compensating winding also connected both are in the series connection simply this complete network is connected with the field winding field winding okay this is the interpolar winding and this is the compensating winding next so here the interpoles causes demagnetization along the pole tip a magnetization along the leading pole tip okay generally pole trip trailing pole trip we have flux is more that flux can be reduced okay the flux can be reduced by this and leading pole trip generally flux value is low that flux value will be increased okay the air gap flux becomes nearly flat topped wave by that we will get the flat topped wave therefore the interpole reduces cross magnetizing effect 
both under polar region as well as interpolar region. So polar means you have some doubt which is polar region. The region between these two points is called as the polar region. The region between these two points is called the interpolar region. Okay, this region, right? So the cross magnetizing effect will be effectively reduced by this interpolar region. Okay, here the polarity of interpole is same as that of the main field pole ahead in the direction of generator rotation. So if the main field poles are ahead in the direction of generator rotation. So we have some generator rotation is available here. So that will be ahead. That's why we will get the like this. So north pole is here, south pole is here. Okay. I hope all of you understand the session. Thank you.